Greetings to you all. This is Father Daniel Reno uh, for the OST vlog. I am at Lepshamea House of Prayer with two oblates that are stationed here, and we will listen to them and be introduced to their work and to themselves. Let's begin with you, Father Jack. Yes, I'm Jack Lowe, and I'm a missionary oblate. Uh, I've been here since August. Uh, one of the contexts in which I find myself drawn to, due to my own experiences uh, as an oblate, is that of hospitality, uh, not only in the kitchen and in the environment, but a hospitality that embraces all and welcomes all, regardless of one's journey. Thank you. And Father Andy? Uh, I'm Andy Sensenig. I'm a missionary of Lake Mary Macca, just like Jack. Uh, I've been here uh, since August, but also I've been to Lipshamea in, in a variety of ways, one time for one year assignment and also to 30 and 40 day retreats. Can you tell us a little more about the ministry of the Samea House of Prayer uh, in regards to the uh, missionary oblate charism? Uh, yes, it, it really is, uh, started out actually with Eugene in the beginning. Uh, he used to have a period uh, for their men to be together in silence for about six months and then they would go out and spend themselves in a the mission. So Lipshmea is really sort of like reconnecting to that older form of oblate mission. Thank you. And what are uh, your uh, ministries in terms, can you say more in terms of uh, your spiritual companioning with people who might come here and be interested in meeting with you if they are doing a retreat in silence? Primarily for myself, uh, I see it more of an inspiration from actually uh, Kelly Nemec's and Marie Kuhn's book, Receptivity, is to be receptive to the person, to walk with the person, and then do as uh, Eugene and Asimov oftentimes encourage us to be, is a collaborator with that person. And so therefore it's a companioning and collaboration, but primarily receptive the person who comes here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and I would agree that sense of accompaniment. Uh, many people come uh, for a few days, a weekend, a midweek, uh, and they just need to, to share their experiences with someone in a safe environment, a confidential environment. And uh, so this accompaniment allows them to, to share their dreams and their experiences with another, and maybe just to have a person there to, to hear without making judgment and affirm them in their journey. How do you think the setting of the Lebshomea House of Prayer might be rather unique in terms of people visiting here? Uh, unique? Yes, uh, this is South Texas. It's another part of the country, another bio, biosphere, which is rich in beauty and diversity. Uh, when we come here, when we pass through those gates uh, on the branch, uh, we enter into uh, another zone. Uh, there's a sense of peace, there's a sense of tranquility. And that's the possibility, and that's what we offer individuals who come, who maybe are very busy and active. We give them a place to step back and to ponder and look. Thank you. Father Andy, one last question. What attracted you when you first came to Lib Shemaya? Why did you come here? Primarily because of the silence. Um, oftentimes the world is such a busy, diverse place and I've noticed how when we all have a lot of screens like you're seeing me on a little screen right there and a video because oftentimes you don't know where you're going or where you're coming and silence allows one to recollect oneself and journey with God and with others. Thank you. Well thank you Father Andy, thank you Father Jack. We are praying for you and for the ministry and the new directions that Lev Shemaya will be taking from now on. Thanks. Thank you.